There is nothing more powerful in education than a teacher that always wants to get better at teaching. Teachers can use formative assessment to improve their teaching and empower their students to guide their own learning. However, there are challenges. First, not everyone is clear about what formative assessment is. Second, teachers need support because they need to invest time and effort when they try a new practice, like formative assessment. Third, digital tools can facilitate formative assessment, but their potential is not fully used. In Assess at Learning, we developed and tested a toolkit made of teaching and assessing scenarios about digital formative assessment. The toolkit speaks not only to teachers, but to school heads, policymakers, students and parents to help them understand their role in supporting the use of DFA. But let's take a step back. What is formative assessment? There are two approaches to using data about student learning. When teachers use this information to check whether students have learned the topic they taught, they are performing a summative assessment. When teachers use the information to identify where students have most difficulty and plan actions to respond to this difficulty, they are performing a formative assessment. When teachers give feedback to students and students use this feedback to plan how to progress with their learning, that is also formative assessment. We call it digital formative assessment when teachers and students use digital tools such as online quizzes, concept maps and digital portfolios. How did we develop the toolkit? We explored research studies and interviewed experts, teachers, policymakers, students and parents. We added all the ideas and good practices that we collected to the toolkit in the form of articles, videos, infographics and cartoons. We then collected teaching scenarios from teachers and case studies from school leaders and policymakers to give already tried ideas as inspiration. What did we do next? We picked and invited schools from five countries. 208 schools accepted our invitation. These schools were randomly divided into two groups. In the test group, school leaders, teachers and students had access to the toolkit. The control group did not. We investigated what users learned and thought about digital formative assessment and what they will do with it. So, what did we find out? Teachers and school heads liked the toolkit and found its content relevant to their practice. The toolkit had no significant impact on school leaders and students. However, teachers' knowledge of formative assessment has improved significantly. After using the toolkit, teachers were better at telling the difference between summative and formative approaches. For example, they understood that the source of information, such as multiple choice tests or portfolios, could all be used either summatively or formatively. Teachers understood better what their role is in formative assessment. For example, their role in giving useful feedback to guide students in their learning. They also felt more confident that they can explain DFA to their colleagues. This result was particularly visible for teachers with low or no previous experience with DFA. Why is this an important result? We could see that many teachers thought they already know a lot about formative assessment with digital tools, even at the start of the project. After a few months of access to the toolkit, teachers knew even better what DFA is about, what it is not, and the change of role it requires. Many teachers did not seem to implement DFA much in their teaching. It might be that they need more time and more support to implement digital formative assessment. However, in the long run, if teachers and school head can get more chances to use the ideas offered in the toolkit, it may increase their readiness to meaningfully use DFA, and it might contribute to a positive change in their school's feedback and assessment culture. The toolkit is now publicly available on our website, but there is more. The toolkit is an open educational resource. You can download it from our website in five languages, put it on your own website and adapt it to your own needs. If you would like to find out more or explore the toolkit, 
go to assessforlearning.eu.